Uh, my name is Darren Kagan. I'm a news anchor at CNN. I anchor from 10 a.m. to noon Eastern. I say that the closest way to describe my job, it's like having midterms every day. When you're a CNN anchor, you come in an average of three hours early before you're on the air. And then it's a lot of cramming because you need to know what you're talking about. It's not just getting up there and reading off of the teleprompter. So you need to know each day about five, at least five different subjects cold that you could talk about off the top of your head or interview somebody that they just might suddenly show up in a studio or on the phone. A typical work day would be, uh, again, getting in about three hours before you go on the air. There's a big team of people, of producers and writers that work, and technical people that work behind the scenes. So there's a series of meetings that's constantly changing uh, about what we might put on the air. So it's a series of meetings, reading at least five newspapers, reading wire copy, preparing for live events that I know might happen during my hour, um, preparing for um, interviews that I know of, but also preparing for, for the unknown. Well, when I was about the age of kids who were watching, I was trying to think, you know, what I wanted to do. I was thinking of a job that would be different, that would have a lot of adventure and that I would get to see a lot of things. And I thought of this idea, I did some internships, and here I am. You can't shortcut education. Not necessarily the kind of education that people think about, because I know a lot of schools and colleges and universities offer TV production and perhaps journalism classes, and those are important and those are good, but you can't get away from the importance of a really good liberal arts education. Any given day here, I use economics, if I'm talking about the stock market. Today we're talking about Rosa Parks, a civil rights pioneer, so that's history. We're talking about Capitol Hill, so that's political science. Plus you, know how, you must know how to write, and so that's English. So I always recommend go to a school where you're gonna be able to learn all those kind of things and get a really good, broad education, and then pick up your skills either in other classes or in internships. If you're interested in it, then, then pursue your passion. I would always recommend that. And perhaps you live in a small town, then you might be able to get an internship at the local radio station or at the newspaper. So if you're interested, go check it out. It does come with great personal sacrifice. You move a lot, you work crazy hours, you work on holidays, and you work long hours. And so if you're somebody who's gonna love that, then do it. If you're someone who thinks you just wanna be on television and be a news anchor, it's, it's not gonna work for you. you know, it's, it's gonna be too demanding of a career. The best part is I wanted a job that was different every day and that I didn't work in an office. Right now it's a little bit of an office because the studio is my office but it is different every single day and I learn something every day. The worst part is having a job where your mother can see what you wear to work every single day. Here I am all grown up with a job, I live thousands of miles away from my mother and she still can say, that's what you're wearing? I would say to students who might think that they're interested in this, I say if you're a curious person, if you're somebody who's going down the street and you see like a new statue in your town or new building and you wonder to yourself, hmm, I wonder who put that there, what that's about, why that's there. If, if you're curious and you wonder and you're constantly loving to, to learn about the world, then this is a fabulous, fabulous job because you get to learn something new every day. There are incredible adventures. I've been everywhere from war, uh, I was in Kuwait during the Iraq War, to I've been a number of times to cover the Oscars. That's a huge range of things I've gotten to see and experience. So if you're the kind of person that's hungry for adventure and, and, and loves that and would do just about anything to have those experiences, I can't think of a better job that you could have. I'm Darren Hagan at